The fall of Sean Diddy Combs has become one of the most jaw-dropping scandals in the entertainment industry. As shocking revelations continue to surface, it's not just his business partners or fellow A-listers distancing themselves from him. It's his own family, notably his sons, who have reportedly made deals with federal investigators, potentially sealing the fate of their once powerful father. What seemed like a family united by fame and fortune has quickly unraveled into a complex web of betrayal, financial crimes, and a deep-seated scandal that reaches far beyond what the public initially imagined. Diddy's arrest and the shockwaves it sent through the industry. Diddy's arrest sent shockwaves through the entertainment world, an industry well accustomed to scandal, but unprepared for the magnitude of charges now levied against him. The music mogul, once celebrated for his lavish lifestyle and business acumen, now faces charges of racketeering, fraud, and even allegations stemming from his infamous wild parties where luxury and excess ruled. These once glamorous gatherings, now a central piece of the FBI's investigation, have become symbols of something far darker. Beneath the surface of those star-studded events, criminal activities were allegedly taking place, all of which could spell the end for Diddy's empire. Diddy has faced rumors before, but this time, the accusations are far more serious and well-documented. It's not just about scandalous headlines. There's a criminal investigation unfolding, and the stakes are higher than ever. Evidence gathered from his homes during federal raids points to systematic and long-standing illegal activities. However, the most shocking aspect of this case isn't just the fall of a music mogul, it's the betrayal by his own family, a father betrayed by his own sons. For years, Diddy's sons were known as fixtures in the same high-profile world their father thrived in. Whether attending red carpet events, mingling at lavish parties, or appearing in front rows at exclusive venues, they followed closely in his footsteps. The public perceived them as enjoying the rewards of their father's hard-earned success. However, as the FBI dug deeper into Diddy's criminal dealings, it became clear that his sons weren't just innocent bystanders. Allegations quickly emerged, suggesting that Diddy's sons had been deeply involved in their father's financial schemes, helping to manage and funnel money through hidden channels, offshore accounts, and dummy corporations. This operation, designed to conceal the true origins of Diddy's wealth, allegedly saw his sons playing active roles, roles that would ultimately lead them to face charges themselves. When faced with the overwhelming evidence presented by federal investigators, Diddy's sons were forced to make a harrowing choice go down with their father or strike a deal to save themselves. It's being reported that they opted for the latter, providing damning evidence that could solidify Diddy's downfall. Their decision to cooperate with investigators is said to have stunned the music mogul, who never anticipated that his own sons would be instrumental in dismantling his empire. For someone who has prided himself on his untouchable status, the betrayal by his sons is a blow that reaches deeper than any public scandal. Diddy, who spent years cultivating an image of strength and dominance, now finds himself sitting in a jail cell, isolated and betrayed. Diddy's life behind bars and the stark reality he faces. Since his arrest, Diddy has been incarcerated in one of the toughest detention facilities in the United States, the Metropolitan Detention Center, MDC, in Brooklyn. For a man used to living in sprawling mansions and being surrounded by opulence, the transition to a cramped windowless cell has been jarring. Sources inside the detention center report that Diddy is struggling to adapt to life behind bars, with some describing him as withdrawn and pacing his cell for hours at a time. Gone are the gourmet meals, personal assistance, and star-studded parties. Instead, Diddy faces the harsh reality of prison life, a routine marked by confinement, basic meals, and a future that's anything but certain. His time in the MDC has been described as a stark contrast to the life of excess he once led, and the psychological toll is starting to show. Even more troubling for Diddy is the fact that his sons, who were once seen as his heirs, are now among the key witnesses providing testimony that could keep him behind bars for decades. A Greek Tragedy Unfolding in Real Life The story of Diddy's downfall has taken on the shape of a modern-day Greek tragedy with betrayal at its center. The music mogul who once ruled over an empire of fashion, media, and music is now reduced to a prisoner, and the hands responsible for his undoing belong to his own flesh and blood. His son's decision to cooperate with federal authorities, turning over evidence that includes some of his most closely guarded secrets, has effectively dismantled what was left of his legacy. 
For years, Diddy's private parties were seen as the ultimate symbol of celebrity indulgence, a world where the rich and powerful came to let loose. But according to reports, these events were fronts for illegal dealings, and Diddy's sons were deeply involved in ensuring that everything ran smoothly. Now, as more details emerge, it's clear that these parties were far from innocent gatherings. As Diddy's trial looms, the role of his sons in these events has become a focal point of the investigation. They've reportedly admitted to being fully aware of the illegal activities that took place behind the scenes, acknowledging their involvement in their father's empire. Instead of standing by their father, they chose to protect themselves, effectively sealing Diddy's fate, a family torn apart but not all involved. While Diddy's sons face legal repercussions, his twin daughters appear to have been spared from the scandal. Sources suggest that they were unaware of the criminal operations unfolding around them and are being portrayed as victims caught up in their father's downfall. It's likely that they will play a role in the trial as witnesses, providing testimony that could further strengthen the government's case against Diddy. Meanwhile, Diddy's empire continues to crumble. His reputation, once untouchable, is in tatters. His businesses are facing legal challenges and his assets are at risk of being seized. As the investigation deepens, the scope of his alleged crimes grows, and it's clear that this isn't just about financial fraud. There are darker allegations at play, and Diddy's sons have handed over the evidence to prove it. In a stunning turn of events, Sean Diddy Combs, once considered one of the most powerful figures in the entertainment industry, now finds himself entangled in an overwhelming legal and personal crisis. His downfall has been monumental, but what makes it even more shocking is the betrayal from within his own family. His sons, who once stood beside him in the lap of luxury, have reportedly made deals with the FBI, potentially sealing their father's fate. Diddy's reputation as a music mogul and cultural icon began to unravel with a series of lawsuits and criminal investigations. What began as allegations of wild parties and shady business practices escalated into accusations of racketeering, fraud, and sexual misconduct. These charges have slowly chipped away at the empire he built over decades. But nothing has rocked Diddy's world more than his son's decision to cooperate with investigators. The very family members he trusted to carry on his legacy have now turned against him, in the hopes of saving themselves from a lifetime behind bars. The FBI has been closing in on Diddy for months, investigating his financial dealings and the notorious parties that were, for years, the pinnacle of Hollywood's glitz and glamour. These lavish gatherings weren't just about rubbing elbows with celebrities. According to investigators, they were also the backdrop for illegal operations, including money laundering and worse. Now, as evidence mounts against him, Diddy's sons have allegedly been named as accomplices, accused of helping their father manage and funnel funds through hidden accounts and businesses. The Legal Fallout and Celebrity Exodus The revelations about Diddy's involvement in these criminal activities have sent shockwaves through Hollywood. Celebrities who were once seen attending his parties and working closely with him are now scrambling to distance themselves from the growing scandal. Many are rumored to be cooperating with the FBI in exchange for leniency, hoping to avoid being dragged down by their association with Diddy's empire. It's a dramatic and tragic fall for a man who, for so long, appeared untouchable. Diddy, who once lived in sprawling mansions, is now sitting in a cold, windowless cell in one of the harshest detention centers in the country. Gone are the opulent parties and the luxurious lifestyle. Instead, Diddy faces a future filled with legal battles, humiliation, and the prospect of losing everything he worked to build. His influence and power in the entertainment industry have all but evaporated, and with every new revelation, the world watches as more of his empire crumbles. One of the most telling signs of his empire's collapse is the exodus of celebrities who once called Diddy a friend and business partner. Many of these high-profile figures, some of whom were regulars at his infamous parties, are now quietly working with investigators. They've been giving up key details about Diddy's operations in an effort to avoid being implicated in the criminal web that has ensnared him. It's becoming increasingly clear that Diddy's world, which once revolved around secrecy, power, and wealth, is now falling apart piece by piece. Downfall. The role of his sons in the downfall. Perhaps the most devastating aspect of Diddy's situation is the betrayal by his own sons. For years, Diddy's family was seen as an extension of his brand. His sons were often by his side at events and business deals, living the same high life that made Diddy famous. 
But what most people didn't know is that they were allegedly involved in helping their father build and maintain his empire through illegal means. They weren't just enjoying the fruits of his labor. They were reportedly key players in some of the financial schemes that now threatened to send Diddy to prison for decades. Faced with the overwhelming evidence gathered by investigators, Diddy's sons made the painful decision to cooperate with the FBI. In doing so, they handed over critical information that could solidify the government's case against their father. This betrayal, coming from the very people Diddy trusted most, is the final blow in a saga filled with scandal, crime, and downfall. Now, as Diddy sits in his cell, he must face the reality that his sons, who were once meant to carry on his legacy, have instead played a pivotal role in its destruction. The psychological toll of such a betrayal is said to be immense, with insiders suggesting that Diddy is struggling to cope with the harsh realities of his new life behind bars. Don Richard's lawsuit and other legal woes. Adding insult to injury, Diddy is facing yet another lawsuit, this time from Don Richard, a former member of Danity Kane and Dirty Money, groups he helped to form. Richard is alleging mistreatment and abuse during her time under Diddy's management, further tarnishing the mogul's already damaged reputation. This new lawsuit joins a growing list of legal troubles that have piled up in the wake of Diddy's arrest. The accusations of abuse and exploitation are becoming shockingly familiar as more and more individuals come forward with stories of mistreatment at the hands of the music mogul. With every new lawsuit, Diddy's empire crumbles a little further. His once golden reputation in the industry is now synonymous with scandal, betrayal, and crime. The people who once surrounded him, whether family, friends, or colleagues, are turning away from him, many of them hoping to save themselves from the legal fallout. The web of controversy surrounding Diddy's downfall continues to grow, and it seems like no one is safe from the fallout. While Sean Diddy Combs languishes behind bars, more names are being whispered in connection to the scandal, and the list includes some of the most powerful figures in Hollywood. One of the most surprising and headline-grabbing names that has come up is none other than Leonardo DiCaprio. Known for his status as a Hollywood A-lister and environmental activist, DiCaprio has long enjoyed a clean public image. However, recent reports suggest that he was a regular guest at some of Diddy's infamous parties. Although there is no direct evidence linking DiCaprio to any illegal activities, the mere mention of his name has raised serious eyebrows. DiCaprio's presence at Diddy's parties, where some of the most questionable dealings in the entertainment world reportedly took place, has thrown a shadow over his otherwise pristine reputation. Insiders are speculating whether DiCaprio, much like others in Hollywood, is cooperating with the FBI to distance himself from the scandal and protect his career. There are rumors that DiCaprio may be offering information in exchange for staying out of the headlines, a tactic that many high-profile celebrities might be employing as the investigation into Diddy's activities deepens. But DiCaprio isn't the only big name caught in the storm. Celebrities like Jay-Z, Beyonce, Ashton Kutcher, and Paris Hilton are also being whispered about in connection with the growing scandal. While none of them have been officially charged or publicly implicated, the fact that their names are surfacing in discussions about Diddy's alleged criminal activities is enough to send shockwaves through Hollywood. So far, these stars have remained conspicuously silent, with neither public statements nor denials coming forward. The silence is striking in a world where public relations moves are usually swift and calculated. The involvement of these major celebrities adds another layer to the already complicated case. Diddy's parties, once thought to be extravagant gatherings of the elite, are now being painted as hotbeds of secret dealings and potential illegal activities. For years, Diddy wielded power over Hollywood's elite, able to make or break careers with his influence. But now, as the walls close in, those same stars are doing everything they can to distance themselves from him. This situation has become more than just the downfall of a music mogul. It has turned into a scandal that could reshape the entertainment industry. If some of these stars, who have been regulars at Diddy's parties for years, are indeed cooperating with the FBI, it could mean the unearthing of an entirely new layer of corruption in Hollywood. Diddy's sons, who were once thought to be future heirs of his empire, have also played a pivotal role in his collapse. Allegations that they were complicit in their father's financial schemes have surfaced, leading to speculation that they made deals with investigators to avoid harsh sentences. Their betrayal has deeply affected Diddy, as reports suggest he never saw this coming. His sons have handed over crucial details about Diddy's dealings, further incriminating the once powerful mogul. 
In addition to the swirling rumors about DiCaprio, Jay-Z, and other stars, more lawsuits are emerging. One such lawsuit comes from Don Richard, a former member of Diddy's groups, including Dirty Money and Danity Kane. She has alleged mistreatment during her time under Diddy's management, adding yet another legal problem to his growing list of woes. The number of lawsuits piling up against Diddy from former associates, employees, and victims is reaching staggering levels, each one threatening to dismantle more pieces of his empire. It's hard to say just how deep the scandal goes or how many more celebrities will be dragged into it. But what is becoming increasingly clear is that Diddy's reign over the entertainment world is coming to a swift and brutal end. The very people he once surrounded himself with, the stars who partied with him and profited from his influence, are now jumping ship, desperate to protect themselves from being implicated. As the investigation continues and more names come to light, the ripple effects of Diddy's downfall may leave a permanent mark on Hollywood, changing the way we view the relationships between power, fame, and criminal behavior in the entertainment industry. Diddy's arrest and the subsequent betrayals have turned his life upside down. Gone are the days of untouchable power, multi-million dollar homes, and a reputation that once seemed impenetrable. Now, Diddy faces the harsh realities of prison life, with the constant threat that more of his closest associates could turn against him at any moment. The silence from Hollywood's biggest names only adds to the growing sense that Diddy's empire, built on secrecy and control, is crumbling faster than anyone could have imagined. As we wait for more details to emerge from this scandal, one thing is certain, the entertainment industry will never be the same. The public's perception of some of the biggest stars could be forever altered, as their involvement, or lack thereof, in Diddy's downfall becomes clearer. In the world of celebrity scandals, where public perception holds significant power, the silence surrounding Sean Diddy Combs' ongoing legal troubles is deafening, as the charges against Diddy pile up, Ranging from racketeering to fraud and abuse, the public has noticed an eerie quietness from some of the high-profile stars who were once closely linked to him. A-listers like Usher and Megan Fox, who had been regulars at Diddy's infamous parties, have chosen to retreat from the spotlight, fueling speculation about their roles in this unfolding scandal. Social media accounts are being wiped, old interviews and posts are disappearing, and cryptic statements from their publicists are doing little to quell the rumors. Usher, a close confidant of Diddy and someone who once lived under his roof, is at the center of the swirling speculation. His sudden absence from social media has raised eyebrows, particularly as past interviews resurface, where Usher hinted at witnessing unsettling things during his time with Diddy. Though his team claims that his social media accounts were hacked, the timing couldn't be more suspicious. It seems like an effort to distance himself from the mounting allegations surrounding Diddy's empire. Similarly, Megan Fox, another frequent attendee of Diddy's events, has also gone radio silent. Known for her outspoken nature, Fox has deleted all of her social media posts, leaving fans wondering if her silence is a deliberate attempt to avoid being implicated in Diddy's downward spiral. Like Usher, Fox's disappearance from the public eye is conspicuous, especially as more information about Diddy's questionable parties comes to light. But it's not just individual celebrities who are scrambling to cover their tracks. The entire music industry is feeling the ripple effects of Diddy's legal downfall. Executives who were once aligned with the music mogul are now finding themselves in the crosshairs. High-profile figures like Universal Music Group CEO Lucian Grange and former Motown Records CEO Ethiopia Habtamarium have been named in a lawsuit filed by producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones, alleging that they were complicit in Diddy's illegal activities. The allegations suggest that these industry titans were present at some of Diddy's notorious parties, where questionable dealings and abuse occurred. Although neither Grange nor Habtamarium have been formally charged, their association with Diddy has put them under increasing scrutiny. The music executives are not the only ones affected. Diddy's team is also fighting tooth and nail to stop a court order that restricts him from selling any properties that could potentially be used to pay off his growing list of plaintiffs. The legal battle has become a web of lawsuits, emergency court hearings, and desperate attempts to salvage whatever is left of Diddy's crumbling empire. Meanwhile, Diddy's personal life is unraveling at an equally alarming pace. The most shocking twist came when it was revealed that his own sons have reportedly turned on him, cooperating with the FBI to save themselves from potential charges. Diddy, who once ruled over his empire with absolute control, now finds himself betrayed by the very people he had groomed to inherit his legacy.
His sons, who had once enjoyed the lavish lifestyle their father's success afforded, are now working with investigators, providing details that could further damage their father's already tarnished reputation. The betrayal from within is perhaps the most devastating aspect of Diddy's downfall. For years, his family was seen as untouchable, part of the public image he cultivated as a loving father and successful entrepreneur. But now, that image has shattered. Diddy, once an unshakable figure in music and media, sits behind bars in one of the harshest detention centers in the U.S., the Metropolitan Detention Center, MDC, in Brooklyn. His former life of luxury is now a distant memory, replaced by the harsh realities of prison life. Insiders have reported that Diddy is not coping well, struggling to adjust to the isolated and grim conditions of the detention center. He no longer commands the power and control that once defined his life. As more details about Diddy's parties, business dealings, and personal life continue to emerge, the scandal shows no signs of slowing down. In fact, it's only getting worse. With every passing day, more celebrities and industry executives are being named in connection to Diddy's empire, and the pressure is mounting for those involved to come forward or risk being implicated. The Diddy scandal is proving to be a defining moment, not just for the music mogul, but for the entire entertainment industry. It's a sobering reminder of how quickly a carefully constructed empire can come crashing down when built on secrecy, manipulation, and abuse. Diddy's legal battles may continue for months or even years, but one thing is clear. His legacy, once gilded in success and influence, will never be the same. The public is witnessing the final chapters of a career that soared to unimaginable heights, only to come crashing down in spectacular fashion. The fall of Sean Diddy Combs has escalated to levels that are both shocking and devastating. This once untouchable figure in the music industry now finds himself embroiled in lawsuits, federal investigations, and betrayal from those closest to him, including his own sons. What initially started with allegations surrounding Diddy's infamous parties and his financial dealings has spiraled into a scandal of monumental proportions, threatening to take down more than just the music mogul himself. Now, with celebrities, close associates, and family members turning on him, Diddy's empire, which took decades to build, is crumbling at an alarming rate. The betrayal of his sons. Perhaps the most heartbreaking aspect of this entire scandal is the role Diddy's own sons have played in his downfall. These young men, once seen living in the same luxury as their father, attending high-profile events, walking red carpets, and mingling with celebrities, are now being reported as key figures in the investigation. Allegedly, they were not just passive bystanders to their father's criminal activities, but were actively involved in some of the shady dealings that have led to his arrest. According to sources, Diddy's sons were aware of, and even aided in, their father's financial schemes. They reportedly helped funnel money through fake companies and offshore accounts, all part of a much larger money laundering operation. The FBI had been watching them for months, and once their father was taken into custody, they were left with a difficult choice, remain silent and risk their futures or cooperate with federal authorities to save themselves. Reports suggest that, faced with the overwhelming evidence and the possibility of decades in prison, both sons have decided to cooperate with investigators. In a move that has left many stunned, these young men have turned on their father, offering up vital information that may be the final nail in Diddy's legal coffin. For Diddy, this betrayal is likely the most crushing of all, as he never expected his own children to be the ones to deliver the fatal blow to his career and reputation. The broader scandal and its ripple effects. But the drama doesn't stop with his sons. As the federal investigation continues, more and more names are being dragged into the mess. Big name celebrities and industry insiders who were once considered Diddy's closest friends and allies are now scrambling to distance themselves from him. Some are reportedly cutting deals with the FBI, hoping to avoid being caught up in the charges that are now being levied against the music mogul. One such name that has surfaced is Cuba Gooding Jr. According to recent developments, just hours after federal agents raided Diddy's homes in Miami and Los Angeles, an amendment was filed in a lawsuit accusing Gooding of inappropriate behavior at one of Diddy's infamous parties. Gooding, like many other celebrities now caught in this web of allegations, has remained silent, though his representatives have been contacted for comment. As more details emerge, it's becoming painfully clear that Diddy's once powerful network is collapsing. Celebrities who partied with him and benefited from his connections are now quietly cooperating with the authorities. 
These parties, once symbols of Diddy's wealth and influence, are now at the center of a federal investigation, revealing a far more sinister side to his lifestyle. These events, attended by A-listers and Hollywood elites, were not just about excess and luxury. According to authorities, they were also the setting for illegal activities that went far beyond simple debauchery. Legal troubles piling up on top of everything else, Diddy now finds himself embroiled in a growing number of lawsuits, with more accusers stepping forward every day. One particularly shocking development came when former Dirty Money member Don Richard filed a lawsuit against him. Richard, who was part of the group during Diddy's Last Train to Paris era, has alleged a series of serious offenses during her time working with him. While her legal team hasn't gone into detail publicly, the accusations are consistent with the flood of allegations that have emerged against Diddy in recent months. Don Richard's lawsuit is just the latest in a series of legal battles that have engulfed the former music mogul. Lawsuits from men and women alike are piling up, all accusing Diddy of various forms of abuse, exploitation, and misconduct. While Diddy's legal team has been working tirelessly to defend him, claiming that these accusations are baseless attempts to drag his name through the mud, the damage to his reputation is already done. As these legal proceedings continue, Diddy is losing more and more allies by the day. The entertainment industry, always quick to protect its own, is now turning its back on him. Celebrities who once stood by his side are either distancing themselves or quietly cooperating with the FBI, hoping to avoid being caught in the crossfire. It's a stark contrast to the image Diddy once cultivated, a man of power, influence, and untouchability. Now that image is in tatters, and the empire he built over decades is disintegrating. Cuba Gooding Jr. As alleged involvement, adding yet another layer of complexity to this already convoluted case is the involvement of actor Cuba Gooding Jr. Allegations have surfaced, linking him to inappropriate behavior at one of Diddy's infamous parties. The lawsuit, which was amended just hours after Diddy's properties were raided, claims that Gooding was introduced to the plaintiff by Diddy himself. The accusations against Gooding, who has already faced his own legal issues in recent years, have brought even more attention to the scandal surrounding Diddy's network. Gooding's legal team has yet to comment publicly, but the mere association with Diddy at this time is enough to raise eyebrows. The accusations against Gooding, though separate from the larger federal investigation into Diddy's dealings, underscore the breadth of the scandal. It's not just Diddy who is facing consequences. His entire social circle, including some of Hollywood's biggest names, is now under scrutiny. The fallout and the final question, who's next? The Diddy scandal has become something much larger than anyone could have predicted. What started as rumors of wild parties and shady financial dealings has now turned into a full-blown federal investigation involving celebrities, industry insiders, and even Diddy's own family. As more people come forward, the list of those implicated in Diddy's downfall only grows longer. Celebrities who were once his closest friends and collaborators are now either cutting deals with the FBI or quietly erasing their digital footprints, trying to distance themselves from the fallout. As this scandal continues to unfold, the public is left wondering, who's next? Which other celebrities, once thought to be untouchable, will find themselves dragged into this mess? Will Diddy's empire continue to collapse, or will he find a way to fight back and regain some of his former power? Only time will tell. What is clear is that the world is witnessing the end of an era. The man who once ruled the music industry, who built an empire on secrecy and power, is now facing the fight of his life. And as more celebrities come forward to save themselves, it's hard to see how Diddy can ever recover from the damage that has been done. This is a story that is far from over. With new developments emerging every day, the Diddy scandal is sure to continue captivating the public. What began as whispers of scandal has now turned into a full-scale legal disaster, with Diddy's sons, celebrity friends, and close associates all playing a role in his undoing. The empire he built over decades is collapsing, and everyone is watching to see who will be the next to fall.